Hi there, my name is Lisa and I know that you may not know me, but I have been following you on LinkedIn for about two weeks now. And I have noticed some things on your LinkedIn profile that I feel that could be improved or optimized so that you can make more connections. And so what I've done is I've taken down notes for you. I have six tips that I'm going to give you to help you optimize your profile starting today. You see, when you have a really great LinkedIn profile, you're going to get noticed by more hiring recruiters and managers. You're also going to make more connections with other professionals in your industry, and it just gives you a great opportunity to present yourself in a professional way online. So tip number one, your profile photo. This is the first thing that people see when they land on your LinkedIn profile. So your profile photo should be professional. It should be bright, nothing distracting going on in the background. You should be smiling. And I highly recommend using a professional photo rather than an image of you on vacation or with your family. So you really want to make sure that you are dressed to impress as well and that you're making a good impression initially. This also applies to the banner photo that goes behind your main photo. You want this image to represent your industry. You can use an image that shows you at work. You can use an image that shows the tools that you work with and anything relevant to your industry. And tip number two is have an appropriate headline. So when it comes to creating a headline on your LinkedIn profile, I highly recommend adding your job title along with a few relevant keywords for your industry. And tip number two is have an appropriate headline. So your headline should ideally list your job title along with a few specific keywords that are relevant to your industry. This is going to help people and hiring recruiters find you a lot easier and it's also going to help eliminate any confusion. And tip number three, include a well thought out summary section. So this section unfortunately is far underused by most people. And what I mean by that is this section should really explain what you do, who you are, and the value that you can provide to other people. By not having a complete summary section, you're really missing out on a ton of opportunities to include specific buzzwords and keywords that hiring recruiters and managers are looking for. So this section is going to give you a chance to introduce yourself as well as to create a miniature biography. You want to talk about the value that you can provide and how you can help people. This is really what hiring recruiters are looking for. And tip number four is the resume section. So in this area, you don't want to include too much information about your prior work history, but you also want to include enough information to give employers and hiring recruiters a better idea of what it is that you do or that you have done in the past. So we want to basically summarize each work history experience that we have, include maybe a couple of different bullet points, but really you wanna focus on your achievements, you wanna focus on the value that you have provided to these companies. But all in all, you wanna keep it pretty concise and not elaborate too much, because you wanna give the employer just a little taste of what it is that you have done in your industry, you want to provoke further interest in the employer and ultimately you want them to reach out to you and ask to see your resume. And tip number five is your recommendations. So in this section, it's a great idea to include as many recommendations as possible, primarily from your prior employers. So anybody that you've worked for, I would highly recommend asking them to write a recommendation for you that you can include on LinkedIn. You ideally want to avoid asking your peers, friends, or family to write recommendations for you. And the last tip, tip number six, include a list of 50 skills. So LinkedIn allows you to have a maximum of 50 skills. If you aren't utilizing all 50 skills, you're really missing out. Your skill section is a great opportunity for you to include important keywords that hiring recruiters and managers are going to be looking for on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. If you have any questions at all, or if you need further clarification, please feel free to reach out to me anytime and I would be more than happy to connect with you.